Let's go pick up this fender up right now because I'm hype. Yo, what up? Welcome back to another video. This is something different. You guys are not used to seeing me in this. That's because I am on my way to pick up my uh, Roguelide ST Fender for my 2020 Roguelide Special that was just being painted. So we're gonna go pick it up at J.O. Customs. J.O. was the one who painted my rear CVO Fender. Nothing came out great. If you guys are in the local area and wanna get some stuff painted, hit J.O. up. Um, I'm gonna be linking up his description down below. But yeah, we're gonna be picking it up right now. And the reason why I'm driving is because I left my old front fender there as well because he wanted to, uh, he wanted to really color match the, um, the pinstripe that divides the red and the black color so if you guys didn't know there is a, like an orange pinstripe that divides the red and the black on my bike a lot of people don't know that but yeah it's, it's there so he kind of he kept it there he wanted to color match it so that's fine so i'm picking both of those up then we're gonna take it back home we're gonna be installing the the new st fender on the bike super hyped to put that thing on man because i uh, i mean i i like the the og fender the front fender but the ST Fender, you know, it's chopped, it's smaller, and that wheel's so nice that it's being hidden by that big fender, the big wheelbarrow fender. So with the ST chopped fender, it just, you know, exposes the wheel more and makes the bike look a bit more, I don't know, like, uh, it just looks better. This place is just down the road from me, so it's literally like a five minute drive. We've been doing a lot of installs on the Road Glide lately. So just finished doing the Baja installs. Um, did the Screaming Eagle and Olin suspension install. Doing this, um, I mean, a few weeks ago, we did the uh, the Screaming Eagle Torque Cam. And there's a lot more to come. So a lot of content for you bagger fans out there. Uh, but with that being said, there's a lot more content coming for the uh, Lowrider S2. And uh, just 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 wait because I am working on something else at the moment. So just wait. There, there's there's more stuff to come, like another bike. But that's all I could say for now. Okay, can dish it all out. She's just on the phone. Yeah, yeah don't worry about it. Man. Yeah, we. Uh, so you see, you got a camera on me. Yeah. <laughs> But let's put a little side by side next to it. All right, guys. So we're here to show you the huge difference of the size of the OG uh, Fender right here and the ST Fender right here. So I'll put it nice and close to you guys to show you the comparison. So, like I said, he did uh, match up the lining really, really good. Everything is like perfect. It looks like factory. So that's awesome. That's awesome. That looks really good, man. You did a good job, dude. So if you guys are in the local area, hit J.O. up. Like I said, all his information is going to be linked down below. Um, any Harley, Indian. See, he did, he, did a, he did a really good, really clean logo for um, this Indian motorcycle he did recently. And that thing came out sick. It is a, another hot one today. Another scorch. It's about 95 degrees today. I don't want to pump the AC because in my last video I noticed it was just a bit noisy. So I got the doors open, getting some natural breeze. This is going to be a real simple install. Basically, it's a four stock bolts that we took off to take off the OG uh, front fender. It's the same ones that we're going to use. So just be very careful if you are doing this, if you're going to, you know, scratch up your paint. Especially this. This is a uh, fresh, brand new. Like it's it's so clean and just uh, I just love the fact that it just exposes the whole wheel now before you weren't able to see that like the, the front fender covered basically all of this right here 
and it covered all of this and went down to like here. So, you know, this this is such a nice wheel uh, that Harley Davidson makes and you know that that uh, the ST Fender just just brings it all out and puts it all together now very nice and it's just wow. It just uh, <laughs> I'm in love. That looks good. That looks really good. I highly, highly, highly recommend doing this. So if you're able to order, go to your local dealership. I think you can even order it online, but if you wanna swap out your original front fender for this ST, Roguelite ST front fender, it's, uh, I, I highly recommend it. It just makes the bike look really nice and it just puts everything, just wow. I know for a fact that if you do order it from Harley Davidson, it does come color matched to your specifications. Um, so that's a that's an easier way or if you can get your hands on one and want to get it painted then you know If you're in the local area hit a J.O. up. Just want to show you guys real quick the huge difference So that's the ST and then when you kind of mock up the OG Fender right there You can see what I'm talking about how the way you just had everything covered up before it's just crazy man Looks good. That's gonna be it guys. If you are new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. Like I said, I have a ton of stuff still that we're gonna be ordering and putting on this bike in the next few weeks and next few months to come. So if you are looking for that type of content, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe, enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.